Greetings. I saw a line, I read a line from Bell Hooks that said, love and abuse cannot coexist. And when you are reviewing your life or when you are teaching your children or someone you love about love, it's important to reflect on the relationships around you and looking at them in totality. Not, this is an example now, oh, that's my father, he loved me. Maybe he loved you to the capacity and best he could, but if your father was an abuser in your life and you just deem it as love and you don't deem it as this is not a good person, regardless of the history, <clears throat> whether he went through a lot or whatever, this is not a good person and this was not love. This was abuse from a person that's in pain and I didn't deserve it. And from a person that's unwilling to get help. Not fluffing it up. Being honest with yourself so that you don't hold a grudge, right? Um, at some point. If you need to hold a grudge for a little, fine. You know, this, just don't let it weigh you down. Have your space when you let it go. Like when different things arise or different feelings arise, let them visit. You know, don't rush them away. The frustration comes when you're trying to rush it away. I want to be over it already. Well, you're not. You haven't unpacked it. You haven't really walked yourself through it. So <clears throat> trying to rush being over something is not going to help you get over it. What's going to help you is feeling it, sitting with it, and allowing it. That's what's going to help. But very much being honest when you're healing, looking at your life, you know, um, or, you know, whether it be your mother, your father, your siblings, someone, this person was like this with me. So when you look at the core of it, when you look at the core of it, like Anna had a bad narcissistic father and Anna's father was her first abuser and he wasn't showing her love. He was abusing her mother and abusing her. And now she constantly interacts with men who either wear a mask to welcome her in and then pull her in to abuse her or project onto her. Or um, she welcomes men that pretend to be nice and gaslight her into thinking she's the problem like her father did. You cannot see the root of the issue if you're pretending it didn't exist. Now, Anna didn't realize that her father, that this was the reason because her father was the only one who actively spoke to her and showed her any attention. Does that mean that he was good? No, he was a bad person and he was an abuser and he was your first abuser. And so now you have to unravel that, heal from that, love on yourself so that you can incorporate and utilize discernment. This is not easy though. It's not, but you have to look at things for what they are. You can't fluff them up when you're healing. You have to look at them for what they are so that you can sit with it and then you'll move, you'll know when it's time to move forward. Like I said, the unpacking part of what did Anna's father go through? Uh, he was abused. He also this, that, that, D that's sad. Doesn't take anything away from it, but you can't begin to empathize with an abuser while you're healing you like your empathy doesn't go there you want to empathize at some point a little bit fine you'll get there you know where you're like wow that's sad and then you remove your empathy and give it back to yourself because you, the abuser does not deserve your empathy okay that's their fucking problem um but when you do utilize your empathy, it's really for you to realize that they're human and their experience and they're going through what they're going through because of what they went through. But you do not have to participate in that. You do not deserve abuse because of that. And you are healing, so so should they. And I don't give a shit about their age. So I just wanted to share that. I hope it helps someone.